Okay, so we're going on a side quest. Is everybody good with that? So I'm looking at my cam. Uh, this is my AVCS, my uh, intake cam. I've noticed there's some little bit of scarring here, probably from um, oil starvation. Uh, that's probably why my bearings went out too in the car. And you can, you can, I don't know if you can hear this. Right there, it's pretty rough. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to polish this down a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna take a whole lot off. The uh, tolerance for these is, is pretty important. It's two and a half thousandths, uh, in case you don't know that, um, with the cam cap on. And um, so I'm gonna polish a little bit down, just kind of these high, these high sides, these grooves, because um, they'll start to tear up the journal that they sit in uh, over time if you don't do that. And you can see there is a there's a mark in there that I'll kind of look at too. But I'm gonna show you all how to kind of polish that down a little bit and we'll see if we can make it look a little bit better and smoother. Um, again, you can have this, you can send it off to do this. I'm just doing a little bit because it's really not that bad. Um, so I'll show you all how to do that in just a second. Okay, so we have our cam set up on my little table over here. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get this tripod to play nice. Okay, so this is our surface that we're gonna be looking at. And I've got, this is a 1500 grit sandpaper. And you want it to be about the distance. There's a little shoulder here. And you wanna be about the distance of that because you wanna get it even. And then you wanna take some oil and oil this up. And then you also want to take some oil and put it on your sandpaper. This will keep it from biting in. We're not trying to, like we're not resurfacing this, okay? It's, it's, we're not putting any surface on it. We're just trying to kind of take some of the grooves out. And um, so you're just gonna kind of take it like this. And you're just gonna slowly work around, work around in this kind of pattern. Big long strokes, and we're not we're not sanding very hard. We're not. This is kind of a gentle process here, um, and we're just gonna do this. I don't know, probably about ten minutes, maybe not quite that long. Um, depends on how bad your your cam is. So we're gonna do this uh, with 1500 grit for about ten minutes, and then I'll show you kind of the difference uh, when I'm done. Okay, so we've been working on this for about. Uh, probably eight minutes and it's feeling a lot better but there's still a little bit of a groove in it and so I'm gonna go ahead and get a new piece of sandpaper and hit it for, probably for another five minutes um, it's important to make sure that you're not hitting one spot you're like oh I see it there and you hit that spot you want to work evenly all the way around it you still want this thing to be a circle now if you do too much, what's gonna happen is you're gonna open up your oil clearances and then oil, uh, when the oil pressure is from here, from the uh, head, it's not going to uh, keep the oil in there. Um, so you don't wanna go too hog wild, uh, but I've got, got this looking a little bit better already, I think. Um, it definitely feels a lot smoother, but we still have a pretty good gouge, and we're probably not gonna get that all the way out. But what we're trying to do is make it um, a lot more close. And <laughs> the main reason I stopped uh, to take a break is I've got a mouse trap set. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it. I've got a mouse trap set literally right there. And uh, the freaking mouse is behind this black thing and freaking popped it right next to my foot and freaked me out. So. I took a break for a second, um, but we're gonna keep on working on getting uh, this cam all nice and happy. I'm gonna hit it again with a new sheet of, uh, what do we call it, a new sheet of 1500 grit, and then after that I'll move to a 2000 grit. Um, and I've wiped this down to get all the metal that I've pulled off of there off, and then I'm gonna take some oil and re-oil it and go cut another strip of our 1500 grit and keep on going okay so now we have our 2000 grit uh, we're gonna oil it down we've cleaned it a little bit 
and it's already feeling a lot smoother. I don't know if you can tell if it looks any better on the camera. We'll probably do like a before and after picture. And then we're going to oil our sandpaper down. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for about another 8 10 minutes. Just kind of depends. Um, and we're just going to work around. You know, this is a lot of fun. Usually, a lot of time to think about things and think about the meaning of life. Think about once you're done building your car, who you're gonna race first. What do you want to? What kind of cars do you want to beat? And all that fun stuff. Um, maybe there's that one smug dude in your in your local car community that you just can't wait to put buses on you know we all have that guy Um, I think he's really cool in his 3v Mustang anyways um, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep uh, sanding and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done and again I'm just working around like this long gentle strokes we're not trying to get it all at once you know it's a it's, it's, uh, just kind of wearing it down and uh, hopefully you can still feel this one kind of grabbing right there. And we we just may not get it completely happy, but it's definitely going to be better than when we started. And that's the main point is uh, we don't want this tearing up the aluminum parts that hold the cam in place um, because it has some metal hanging off uh, where it's not sitting flat. And so I'm going to keep on doing this, and then I'll show you what. What it looks like uh, for the next step okay so we've done this for about I don't know 10 10 minutes maybe not quite and we're, we feel so much better um, I don't know if you can if the camera can really pick it up or not but the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over I may get a fresh piece just in case there's some debris on here uh, and then we're going to do it on the back side of this uh, sandpaper and the sandpaper comes out to be like a 4,000 grit, probably uh, 3,500, something like that. And we're just kind of putting a final polish on it. And this is one of those things that probably can get by without having to do it. But if we're going to bother, we might as well go all the way, yeah? Get this sucker polished looking. And you don't have to worry about this as much taking off material or anything. It's just kind of a... Uh, cleaning it and making sure everything's off of it and I'll probably do this for another um, oh I don't know another five minutes or so and um, once that's done I'll, pull, I'll uh, unclamp this from the table and I'll break clean all of this off make sure that there's no little speckles of anything left on it um, from us sanding it off and then it should be good to go back in your head. Um, I still have the other head to put on, um, but uh, this kind of needed to be addressed first, I thought. So um, hopefully you guys don't run into this, um, but, um, and like I said, there's shops that do this. You can take this to a machine shop and They'll do a similar process. Um, it'll probably be much more controlled than you just sitting here doing it with your hands. But we're not taking off enough material to worry about um, clearances and tolerances and all that. Um, and like I said, I've, I've, I'm running a larger oil pump. Uh, the Legacy GT comes with a 10 millimeter oil pump. And I'm putting an 11 millimeter on there. So, you know, if some of these get a little bit um, opened up, I should have enough oil pressure from that larger oil pump to, uh, you know, kind of make the make the difference up. Okay. And so we we still got a little bit of a groove there, but it didn't it didn't catch my fingernail like it did before, and that's what we're looking at. It's not gonna tear up anything on the aluminum parts.
that was our side quest for today. Side quest completed, plus 1,000 points. Y'all win. Um, a special weapon or something. I don't know how that works. But <laughs> y'all have a good time, and we'll catch you next time. We're going to be putting the other head on. I probably won't film it since I've already filmed one. Uh, but I'll film the valve cover and all that stuff going on um, just so you all can see it. Alright, have a nice day.